Senator Corker joins us live from the Capitol in Washington to talk about that and much more. Uh, Senator, always good to have you back here on Live at 9. Alex, good to be with you. Thank you, sir. Uh, first and foremost, we just heard that uh, Republicans met behind closed doors. Some came out saying uh, when it comes to health care reform uh, that some progress was made, but no deal yet. Where do we stand, Senator? I, I would assume the reporting to be correct. That obviously uh, happened on the House side, and anything that might come out of the House, should they vote on it, uh, would come over to the Senate, and then we would do our work on it. But, Alex, as you, as you mentioned, at present, there isn't a solution. I hope there will be soon, but in the interim, we've got Tennesseans, as you know, that don't have an option. In other words, they, they get a subsidy or a tax credit to buy health insurance, but they don't have anybody to buy it from. Uh, the exchange doesn't have a single participant, uh, for instance, in Knoxville, Tennessee. And so what Lamar and I are offering is their ability to go off the exchange and just buy a standard insurance policy that might be sold to someone else in the private sector so that they have the ability during this, this sort of crisis mode that's uh, existing for some people who don't have a choice to be able to go over and buy it, uh, buy it off the exchange so that they still have health care coverage. So, Senator, what do you think it would take to actually make this happen, and how does your plan and Senator Alexander's plan differ from what we have now with Obamacare? Well, I mean, right now with Obamacare, again, what happens, Alex, as you know, numbers of people around the country that don't get employer-based health insurance, they receive a subsidy where they can buy health insurance, health insurance on an exchange. The problem is that in many cases, uh, all across Tennessee, people have one, one choice, but in some cases, they have no choice. And so what this bill does is offer them the opportunity to buy something off of the exchange, not the, not the plans that were laid out by the federal government, but other private health insurance plans that many Tennesseans are already able to purchase. It's not something to replace reforming Obamacare. It's something to, uh, until that occurs, occurs, give people an option so that they can go ahead while this is being worked out and, and provide health care insurance for their families. Well, Senator, is this something that you think both Republicans and Democrats could perhaps support? I think it I think it only gets supported if these negotiations that are underway prolong. In other words, if we go on for a while, Alex, and it appears that there's just no solution that we can come to, then I the bill that we've laid out becomes uh, much more active. Yesterday, uh, Blue Cross pulled out of Iowa uh, in totality. And so, again, what's happening is uh, across the country, there, there are places where there aren't any plans. And I think as this crisis builds, then the plan that, I, that Lamar and I have laid out that, again, is not a replacement for reforming where we are today. But it's something that's a stopgap measure. To me, it gains steam if these negotiations fall apart. Senator, from a personal standpoint, what are you sensing and feeling, and what have you heard maybe directly from many of your own constituents here in the state of Tennessee? We've seen town hall meetings all across the country. They've uh, become yeah. quite animated, to say the least. What are you hearing from people? Yeah. What do you think they want? Well, you know, Alex, I'm, I, we hear, of course, every single day people call our office. We receive faxes. Uh, you know, I bump into people uh, across the state. When I travel, I'll be in Memphis in a couple of weeks. But look, it, it, there's all kind of concerns about everything you can imagine. Small business wants, uh, uh, you know, wants to see tax reform. They want to see regulations uh, eased so that they can more fully provide employment and do their business. Uh, people that happen to the 266,000 Tennesseans that are on the exchange, they, they want to make sure they've got choices uh, for health care. Um, you know, people are concerned about security issues. Um, so it's a whole gamut. I mean, we live at a period of time with a lot of uncertainty, and rightly so, people have concerns, and it's our job up here to, uh, to create certainty, and one of those uh, is to really, you know, reform uh, and replace the health care bill that's, that we just referred to. I mean, that's got to be done. It's passing tax reform so that businesses know uh, what the future is going to be. It's addressing infrastructure. I mean, we've got a lot of work to do, and so far we've gotten off to...
we start. Uh, Republicans and Democrats uh, haven't really yet been able to come together. I feel that falling some, but we've got a, bit, a lot of big problems to deliver on, and that's what, that's what Tennesseans want us to do. And, uh, Senator, on another issue, it seems like Republicans and Democrats cannot right now agree on the uh, nomination of Supreme Court nominee uh, Gorsuch. Where do, we think, where do you think we stand on that issue? Well, he's going to get confirmed, and uh, look, it's uh, there's been poor leadership on both sides of the aisle on this issue, and, and we're in a very bad place in the United States Senate where there's just been a total breakdown. There's no reason for this judge to be uh, filibustered. Republicans allowed the two Obama nominees to come to the floor without ever even asking for a cloture vote. So this is unprecedented, what's happening on the Democratic side. On the other hand, what uh, may happen on the Republican side is also unprecedented. We find ourselves in a very sad state, I think, today. But Gorsuch himself is a, su a superior nominee. He's going to be a Supreme Court justice, and my sense is he's going to serve our country with great distinction. But finding us in this place where we're having this made-up filibuster issue, and then, unfortunately, the reaction of a potential nuclear option really doesn't speak well to uh, either sides of the aisle right now in the United States Senate. All right, U.S. Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us this morning. We look forward to having thank you here in Memphis you. in just a couple of weeks.